freaking terrible. But we'll work hard to solve the format. Seven wins. And I'm sure we'll make it there. All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to Bronze and Mythic. Show we draft our account from Bronze and Mythic, Wilds of Eldraine. Hit the buttons, like, comment, subscribe, all stuff on YouTube. Of course, Bronze to Worlds account is back in action. Why? Why, Jim? Why? Why? Well, you know, I'm playing Worlds again. Just no, no big deal. No big deal. In a few weeks, it's really, really awesome. I'm going to go to my first draft. If you're new to the show, this is pretty simple, right? Bronze to Mythics, if a title, draft the account for Bronze to Mythics. My first draft is going to be episode number one, and we're going to go all the way through, try and get to Mythic. Um, not as fast as we can. I mean, kind of as fast as we can, but I'm also going to do some crazy stuff too. Uh, the, the goal of this series is to to learn the format. You know, we're going to try a bunch of different things, try all the archetypes, kind of learn together what works and what doesn't work, so what you need to do to go to Bronze to Mythic also. That's going to be the plan. That's what we're doing. We got Worlds coming up. We got our pre-show, a new feature we're doing here on Bronze to Mythic, where I actually did an episode before this, where I did a pre-show, and I went over all 10 of the signpost uncommons. That's right. And I went over all the archetypes based on those, and uh, 20 minutes long, kind of a cool new one. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, and uh, it's on the YouTube channel right now. You can check that out um, after watching this, of course. And let me know what you think as the pre-show episode is up there also. Also, I want to remind y'all, very important for the new season, we always do an over-under. So, the line for Drafts to Mythic is going to be 21.5. That's our line always. Haven't hit the under in a while. I've been very, very close a lot, but haven't hit the under yet. So, you're going to call over, under, in chat, and then in YouTube, take the comments, all caps, over, under. What do you think? Are we going to hit the over or hit the under and making Mythic in 21.5 drafts? That's what we got to do. Let's rock and roll. What are we going to open? I don't know. Let's do this. Bruce Willis is in our drafts. Holy crap. So, and in the end, and uh, unfortunately, Untapped, of course, this just came out like five hours ago, so it's not available just yet. We'll explain that in future episodes. So, the end. Um, it's funny how this card's like important and constructed as a weird removal spell. This is a format of exile creature or planeswalker, which is like not that good, but fine. And then it cranial extractions it. So it constructed, you hit their car and the great creator over shieldred. Now they're all gone. In limited, that doesn't matter that much, but a kill spell for four is pretty good in limited. So we have the end here. Uh, we got some adventure cards here in the shepherd, seems like a pretty good card. Spellcaster, kind of a cool. Uh, your power exceeds that of the sorcerer supreme. Kind of a cool sorcery card, little uh, little blue red spells. Barrow Naughty is a really nice looking fairy uh, with lifelink to for the rolls and stuff like that. We're going to go over the mechanics. Lots to take in at once. Also, remember my set reviews up on uh, on YouTube as well on my main channel where I go over the entire set for limited and constructed too. Check that one out. Let's take the kill spell. Take the rares. Uh, a mantra we say, we say a lot here at Bronze Mythic, but this is just a really, really good kill spell, honestly. Black, black two. Exile anything. Instant speed. And then might cost cheap. You're behind also with a little bit of the thing. So we see here, what what the hell is this? Right? What is, what's, what's going on here? This set is a bonus sheet, just like Brothers War, just like Strixhaven, and I adore these bonus sheets for Limited. Um, just a bunch of fun old reprints that all slot well into the set, and they're really cool, they're interesting. Knightly Valor here is a really, really, really good one here, which gives you a 2-2 and an enchantment, so you can bargain it, you can uh, you can celebration it, we'll go over all the mechanics, stuff like that as well. So, pretty cool card. Another Shepherd here, which can trick your opponent's creatures. Uh, this card seems really good, we're going to pass one of these, this card is pretty awesome also. Uh, we got the sentry here for like some blue, uh, blue white tappy stuff, uh, a pacifism. It's kind of hard. These first few drafts are always gonna be kind of rough. So I'm kind of re trying to read and cards, figure it out. Um, the shepherd does seem really good. It's a weird red, red black card, so like it's kind of like both. Uh, Valor seems pretty good too. Uh, I'll take the shepherd. No idea what's right here, honestly. First draft, we're just winging it. Did a set review. A lot of stuff going on. We see here, though, a high fey negotiator. Siege Rhino has been called. 3-5-4-5. Three, three, five, five. Flying. Easy be bargain. You do a little bargaining action. I come to bargain. Bargain means you sacrifice an enchantment, a cre an artifact, or a token and get the bonus. Kind of a kicker thing. We got takedown, some white cards. This is one of the most important commons in the set, I think. Hopeful Vigil. Really, really good at all the archetypes. We got a catapult, rubble spell. A lot of black and white cards here, honestly, but I think the negotiator is pretty awesome. Uh, just flying Siege Rhino, huge butt. Oh huge. God. And uh, there are a lot of white, good white cards in the pack also, but we'll just kind of keep rolling here and see, uh, see how it goes. Siege, Siege Fairy. Hey, 
What else we got here? Going on to our third pack. Another Vigil. And again, this card just seems excellent. So it's important to look at cards, not in a vacuum, but what they do in the format. So this card is a two-man enchantment, comes into play, and it makes a knight token. So this, can't, this is your celebration thing. That's a mechanic where you need to get two more things in the battlefield. This is an enchantment you can sacrifice, right? You can sacrifice other bargain effects, stuff like that too. Uh, it's an enchantment. It's a creature. It's a token. A lot of good things. Really good enabler. We got a frosty zappy thing. Hatching plans. Uh, eerie interference here is a uh, kind of a pseudo fog. Uh, creature makes a food. We got an adventure card also. I'm going on an adventure. But I am taking the uh, the vigil here. Card seems really really good and. Uh, Chat asks, did Spreading Seas make Merfolk viable in Historic? Aww. Should we tell them? What do you think? Should we, should we tell them? Or, uh... All right, so we got a, we got a wicked visitor here. Um, My boy's wicked smart. We got an Intangible Virtue. Pumps all the tokens. It's kind of a weird card. Uh, and then we've got a Make a Treasure, some red cards. Oh, Wicked Visitor seems pretty good here. Just 2-2. Two, two. Whenever enchantment ETBs uh, drain for one. It's kind of a cool, doing the cool enchantment thing. Black White, Arch White Archetype is focused around playing a lot of enchantments and then bargaining a lot of them. So, seems cool to me. Um, so, decent curve so far. We got our roll tokens too. We got even more stuff going on. You know your damn roll. These make enchantment token auras. They count as enchantments. They count as tokens for bargain and so on and so forth. And uh, also give you a buff there too. Can't have more than one roll on a creature. This is plus almost one and wards the royal roll. Whenever this thing dies, we get a young hero roll. Um, candy trail. Glutton's kind of a cool card. Uh, I honestly I don't think here. The flyer is kind of cool, but like five drops are kind of a shame. I'm sick the cheap creature, I guess. The trail's pretty cool, too, but I'm not exactly sure. Uh, wow. Inconceivable! This is a pretty good rare. So this is a, uh, one that looks really weird, right? So this is a six-man enchantment. Every opponent casts a spell, they draw seven cards. So first place, you're like, whoa, wait, what? But the reality is, you play this card, your opponent gets to cast, like, three more spells, and the game is over. Uh, so, pretty busted card. Kind of insane here to see it's seventh pick. Uh, but obviously, we're just like, you know, Spirits of Prince, and, you know, new set. Does make things awkward as far as cutting a color, but I'm just going to take it. I mean, this card's pretty pretty wild. So, take the uh, the Fruition, which is pretty cool uh, wing condition. So now we have two really good black cards, a decent black two drop, a middling white card, a decent white card, and a good white card. So, I think I'm going to want to be, probably be blue-white, I guess? I, I'm sorry, black-white, black-blue, I can't talk. Uh, late Pacifism, which is very good, also... Grim Search, pretty cool as well. It's a, a bargain card that you get to uh, draw up to cards. It's pretty great. I think I want the 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 Grim Search. Let's um, lean more into blue-black, I think. We'll see. Splashing is not going to be that, super, that easy here. Get some more blue cards. We got a, uh, a misleading moat. So we also got a table on the, the Splashy Spellcaster. We cast an instant or sorcerer. Make a sorcerer roll. Card's pretty cool, too. Um, so I think we're kind of like... You know, blue, blue, blue-black is kind of like the fairy deck. Um, but it's also kind of like a control -y deck, too, which I think plays well with Fourth Fruition. So, I'm going to take the uh, Spellcaster, just a very high-value card. I think we're going to go into blue-black, kind of like spell control stuff. Uh, we got Tenacious Tome Seeker, 3-2 Bargain. Well, whenever EDs goes Bargain, we turn into a Sorcerer card. So that's kind of like, it's fine. It's pretty good, honestly. Let's make a deal. Um, and then they also hear, is that exciting? So sure. So let's pivot into like a blue-black kind of deck. Uh, we got the witch here. This is just the... Oh, you bargain, you make a cursed roll token? Uh, sure. The Frogut is also cursed. Uh, yeah, I mean, these cards are pretty good, but I think the, the rare is good enough for me to want to just, like, force it. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hatching plans. This card used to be a rare, folks. You had an enchantment, does nothing. But then when it dies, you draw three. So awesome bargain fodder. Uh, this card's awesome. I used to play this, like, in standard, actually, a storm deck. It was like a Claws of Gick Storm deck. Super cool. But all right, let's take this card. I think we're pretty solidly. Ooh, that's, a, that's a sick last pick. Uh, Candy Trail. That's a card you would never get last pick, like two weeks into the format. But sure. Uh, I think the lane's here. White cards are gone. So we're going to be like a blue black kind of like controlling bargain deck. Um, open up Farsight Ritual, which is a very good card. Four mana, uh, look at the top four cards of your library. If, if it was bargain, look at the top eight. Put two in your hands. Sort of like a, a Memory Deluge esque card. Um, but I think not a card we need to take super high. Taken by Nightmares is excellent. Just good removal spell. I think we can just be sort of like blue-black 
you know, like control with force vision, which is kind of cool. I think that um, one of the important things I mentioned in the uh, in the little set review, like pre-show thing, is that some archetypes are very, very tight, like the Boros archetype celebration. You want all your cards to do the same thing. Some are looser, where it can just kind of be like good cards and a few support cards. I think blue box kind of like that. So take the nightmares here. Uh, Search is cool. This card's pretty good. Cauldron's pretty good, but yeah, take the nightmares. A couple of good kill spells here. We get succumb to the cold. Freeze. Uh, Oracle's tendons, kind of a cool card. Water wings. Not a very good pack for us. Another visitor, which is like fine, obviously, but not like the most exciting thing in the world. Alan Reese, thanks so much. Um. So come the gold, obviously better than in a blue-white deck where you're tapping things, getting value off of it. We got a goblin here from Mod Monday. Uh, F's in chat from Mod Monday. I always take the visitor here. Just take two drop. I don't want the attendance really or anything else. Just take the cheap creature. Get a few chip shots in. Not only like the main thing we're doing, but I think it's fine. We can we can we can do that. It's a rat. Um, we need to uh, make sure we are doing. Some good things to bargain. We have the Spellcaster does that really, really well, which is kind of cool. Um, Grim Search. Got our Bomb Rare. Uh, got our Siege Rhino. A couple good kills. It's like, we, have two, we have two super high quality kill spells, like four mana Exile Creature with Upside, which is great. We got Fiery Emancipation. That's a, that's a, ooh, that's a big one. Um, we got a... Dreaming Duelist here. I don't know why these borders are screwed up. It doesn't have like the little black to blue flow, which is kind of annoying. But this is obviously, honestly, like even if we don't have any fairies in our deck, it's still just like a fine card. 2 2 Flash Flyer for two is obviously fine. Uh, we got the Mocking Sprite, which is not great. The Witch Makes a Food, not dead after all. A little thin this back, honestly. But I think the, uh, the Duelist is totally fine. And. Want more, like, spell stuff, honestly. We got Agatha. Agatha all along. Uh, we got a Whisper, Sugar Rush, another Visitor, a Coral Smith, kind of a finicky card. This pack is not going great for us, honestly. Um, not super excited about this pack. Uh, we got a Mine Rot and then a Wicked Roll, which is not exactly the most exciting either. Uh, some good cards here. This card's good and good in red. But I think we're, like, staying in the lane here, I think. Um... Just take the visitor, I guess. Whisper's like, I think four mana mine rot's just not particularly good. Take the visitor. Another hatching plans. We can go super deep here, folks. Who wants to go deep? Episode one. Bronze and Mythic. I want to go deep personally. So hatching plans number two means we're gonna take every bargain card ever and see if we can go like all in on this. Uh, which is kind of cool. This card's fun because blue isn't like isn't like the strongest bargain color. Black and white are the big bargain colors. So like this card is a little off kilter, but that's why I, I like these bonus sheets so much because like they make you do weird things you might not do otherwise. They really increase the re 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 replayability of a format. They just add so many fun, cool things to do. So uh, sprite study visitor, yeah, pretty easy hatching plans I think. And then we got uh, now we're looking for like basically any kind of uh, of bargain stuff possible. We got a three four that makes a cursed roll token. The is also cast. Pretty good card, actually. It's like two mana, kind of shrinker creature, and then uh, as a decent sized blocker as well. Uh, also, sleight of hand, which is pretty good in our deck as far as just playing non creature spells for uh, Earth's source for this thing. But I think this card's pretty good. We're allowed to have four right now, but uh, Ego Drain is uh, like the Thoughtseize for fairies. I'm not a fairies for this card. The Gatekeeper's a bounce spell. It's a big dumb idiot. We're not really a big dumb idiot deck, you know? We get the misleading modes, which is like a bad removal spell. We're, we're, we're gonna have two two good four mana removal spells, but nothing else is really here, honestly. Maybe that this card's just like fine. Just have like one big six drop. It's also a two mana bounce spell, so it counts for our spell stuff too. I, mean, I think it starts good, but like I don't think it fits well in our deck, but sure, whatever. Alright, so we got Compulsion. Kind of an ancient old magic card. Um raise your hand in chat if your back hurts and you remember the card compulsion. I remember this card in standard back in the day. I got a prism, which actually this is actually a really good fodder for a bargain. You know, we already have a lot of good fodder, but nothing else here is good, so. All right, so take the prism. We need more bargains, honestly. We got Rat Out, which is more good bargain fodder, but not a left, it's not really a great card, but. The Porridge is kind of cool, because you can, like, use it to shock, use it to trap, and then just sack it to a, a bargain effect, but. Uh, drawing reset makes it much. Let's take the Rat Out. Uh, we have Attendance, minus four, Water Wings. Don't think we're playing this card, but sure. Throw the Adventures again, it's pretty fun. 
Not dead after all. It's pretty good with our, our two drops as far as trading and stuff. This card's fine. A little scammy action. Not a great pack for us, I don't think. Black was pretty cut that pack, honestly. We'll see how see how it goes. Um, we got... All right, maybe, maybe we are kind of open here. Uh, Sugar Rush, Whisper, Coral Smith. This is obviously like a fine blocker. Um, I don't think we're playing this card, really, but we'll see. Wow, quick study. That's sweet. And then it's like, wow. All right, but blue is super open. Uh, I would say black has not seemed that open, but we'll try to figure it out. Open a pack here with an Elvish Archive. It's a pretty cool card. It triggers off of uh, enchantments and artifacts. We got Princess Takes Flakes Flight, which is a really, really good card in the black-white deck. If you're able to sacrifice the Saga before it finishes, it's really cool. We got a Vigil. Uh, we got Scream Puff here. Tomatoes and sausages, nice crispy bacon. Food card. Uh, Fell Horseman. Pretty thin back, actually. Living Lectern is a 4 that makes a roll. Which is like fine. Draws a card also. Pretty thin back for us, honestly. Not a very exciting back at all. Screen pop is nuts. Nuts has been called in chat. Uh, Lost balloons reset. Our new stuff was taken away from Welcome. All right, sure. I'll take the other puff. We can do that. Much too good for children. Uh, so we got Stab Wound here. Pretty awesome. Uh, uh, whatever it's called card. We got minus two, minus two. Drains for two. Kind of cool. And we got Sugar Rush and Coral. Again, a pretty thin back for black for blue black, but sure. Wound's good. This card was really, really good in uh in the format that it was in originally. Taber! New sub, what's in your way from welcome? Don't forget new pile drivers. Commander Knight. Sorry, pre-release this Saturday. Also Commander Knight this Saturday, too. Check it out. Pre-release in the Discord, all the info. Check it. Schedule. Bronze Mythic. Boom. Lots of it. Saturday. Busy. Bronze Mythic. Alright, we got another visitor. A Prowler and Ice Out. These bags have just been like no, no blue black cards at all, I feel like. Uh, Dawn of Hope. Kind of a cool card, but very, very slow. We got a Vine Stalk here. Uh, no green cards for us, really, though. I mean, I don't really want any of these cards, honestly, but sure. I mean, Ice Out's like just a random counterspell, which doesn't seem particularly great. I guess it's a bargain card. Just like, we just want ways to sack our, our hatching plans. Hey, I'm in, I guess. What's up, Mike? Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Like, Ice Out. Curiosity, another Spellcaster, which is really, really cool, actually. Uh, we got a Vermin. I think this card is actually really good also. Uh, the Hopeless Nightmare, as far as, like, Sack Fodder. But we have tons of Sack Fodder right now. We need more ways to sacrifice things, so... I think Spellcaster is excellent. I know we're, we're jammed on four, but this card is really, really good. Just makes rolls everywhere, I think. It's pretty awesome. We're not that like, creature-heavy, though. I don't know, actually. I don't take your... No idea. Nightmare is good, but we already have tons, tons of things to Sack, so I don't think we really need that effect in our deck, honestly. Um, we have so many four drops. Eh, whatever. That's probably wrong, but we'll figure it out. Grasp of Fate. This is a weird commander card, right? We got a Lectern again. This, these, these bags have been thin. These bags have been really thin for us. Black has, like, been... It was there, and now it has not been there at all, but I think our deck is still fine. Um, and now I find the black cards. Dark Tutelage down to an uncommon. This used to be a rare. We also got the Threadbind Click. With the, with the Flyer for four. We have another counter spell, an Ice Out. Uh, we could play kind of a draw-go game with, with like the study and everything, which is kind of cool. Gavik's first duel makes a cursed roll, then it scries, and then it copies spells. Is that good? Copy your next three mana three, three or less, though. Take the uh, take the ice out. Look for ways to sacrifice things, you know? That's another one, obviously, sure. All right, so we got the Vault, Scarecrow Guy, and a, and a super thin back. Just take the rare for the gems. Here comes the money. Uh, stroke. Warehouse tab, whenever an enchantment dies, make a rat. Not really a useful thing for us, I don't think, honestly, but the pack's pretty bad either way, so whatever. I think we're just... Whereas you guys have, have like 30 playables here, so... Uh, definitely black thinned out for sure. We have, we, have, we, have a, we have a deck here, you know, for sure. We can figure this out. And uh, we got a plan. We got some uh, double hatching plans and bargain cards. And we got this big bomb rare in our forced fruition. So we're, we're just going to bargain it up, folks. I'd buy that for a dollar. Just do it. I sneezed. It's not a miracle. It just happens sometimes. How do we win? How do you win? How do, how do you win? You asking me how I'm going to win? Who's in charge? Me or the devil? I think I'm in charge. All right. We got Party Crasher. Ash Ketchum. Living Lectern. Um, yeah, I mean, sure. Got some deck building here to do for sure, but another prism. I don't really need a prism anymore. Uh, Coral Smith. Yeah, I mean, 
How does anyone win with anything? There you go. Yeah, now you're getting it. The visitors aren't bad either, honestly. It's like, it's a lot of drain with four of them. Curiosity, probably not making the deck. A lot of cards to cut here, obviously. You know, we're we're definitely, this looks like a first draft. We have like some fairies, some bargain guards, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. What killed the dinosaurs? <laughs> a little ice out action. Um, all right, so. Winning is easy. It's the stuff that comes before winning. It's the tricky part. Exactly. First time chatter. Jeski, what's up, my friend? Welcome. Happy to have you. All right, so. Let's cut this stuff. So we got to cut, cut the lands. Uh, it's funny. The trail's like fine, aren't I? But not like great. I think Rattle's kind of eh. Not dead. It's not great either. Slide of hand's good. Plants are good. Lectern's like kind of a weird card. Uh, Prism also might not be necessary. Let's see though. The Witch, so this thing is a bargain to make a uh, a cursed roll. I don't want to play these, but I will if I have to. Quick study. Tone Speaker bargains to make to return a spell. Uh, Devil Ice Out. Grim Search. Stab Wound. Double Spellcaster. Our Transmeter makes things into a curse. Two kill spells. Negotiator Scream Buff. This card seems bad. Attendant seems bad. Gatekeeper seems okay. Got a lot of cards to cut here, too. Um, hmm. So, we're building towards this. We're going to play, like, 16 lands. We're going to cut two more cards. Yeah, the Light Shirt's, like, not bad. It's just, like, a defensive card that, like, cycles later and gives you value, too, which is kind of cool. But I think we're going to have Visitor. Let's cut the Prism. I need the Prism. Prism. Um, any other enchantments you can play? We got the Witch. I think I want both ice outs. We have like a decent amount of flash spell, of like flash spells. Maybe two of these are just bad. Like, I guess we have the wizard with these things too. I guess this is pretty good, right? Wiz visitor plus this thing and just keep like making rolls over and over again. Um, I don't think our scream buff is great, honestly. People are saying this card is good though. Sells so, your new sub. What's anywhere from welcome? I think slide of hand is very good in this deck. I, I want more spells for this thing. I might just got the candy trail actually. This thing triggers off of instant sorceries. This is not an instant sorcery. Watering it with the food. It's just like a slow can trip. It doesn't have no synergy with the deck at all. So I think it's just this. So let's uh, look at our colors real fast. More blue. I can't agree with that. So we're at seven or 16 lands. I had the watch to just, just to do an even split. All right. So uh, I think this is our very first wilds of Eldrine deck. What do you think, folks? It's prediction time. That's right. Time to place your bets and let me know what you think. Seven wins, yay or nay. How are you going to do this? Uh, let me get this buttons here. Put my buttons, buttons, buttons. Uh-oh. There we go. Seven wins, folks. Prediction time. You two folks, take a second, pause the video, scroll to the comments. Leave your over, under, and your prediction. Yay or uh, believer or not believer. What do you think? All caps. We are currently at bronze four. So we are... Uh, the lowest of the low. Take that into account also. Bronze the Mythic is brought to you proudly by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. All right, we got believers. We got a lot of non-believers too, though. Honestly, I don't really like. It kind of, kind of makes me feel a little, uh, a little angry. But chat, come hang out with me. Slide ahead, ice out. It's good. We can keep this on the play too. We're gonna slide on turn one. We're gonna look for our our two of our two drops. That's two drop hatching plans. Damn, that is gas. I mean. Our next, I, do seem, oh, I, I didn't change the, change the card styles. Oops, my bad. I'll fix that. I'll fix that next time. All right. The Brute's Key. The Brute. Draw the Visitor. All right. So we're going to play Visitor, I think. Uh, threaten to block and then get our, start getting our triggers with the Hatching Blends. Kind of cool. So there you go. Um, I saw it's going to be a little bit later, I think, anyway. So not in a rush to play that. Play Plans. Maybe Spellcaster. Negotiate. We could just Curve Out also. Leaving up, leaving up counter magic and drafts tough because like you might not cast anything. 
I'm not casting it's worth anything. And they're gonna cast Hopeless Nightmare. I'm just gonna have to cancel. So we have a a, a stack outlet for our plans and our curve pretty full. So we're, we're tapping out over and over again too. So I'm just gonna shut the dice out. Totally fine. A lot of things happening here. Yeah, a lot of little, little things to click. A lot of things to click. They're gonna attack. There's like a plus one, plus oh, and first strike card, right? I mean, do we think our bronze four opponent is bluffing here? That'd be sick. What's up, Thought? First time chatter. We also had a, we also had a chat from uh, The Scrumptious Project. Years watching on YouTube. Finally got Prime. We got the sub. Awesome. Oh, Appreciate it. Oh my God. Thanks so much. All right. Um, yeah, we're just going to not block here. Stick the one, whatever. Let's bring it on. Do your thing. Like, this... There's a point... And of course, we always do the basics here on Bronze at the beginning of the year. So, it's always important to ask yourself. The question is not binary. It's not, do they have a trick? Do they not have a trick? That's a very, very beginner way of looking at it. Very, very common mistake a lot of players make. The way you're looking at it is, if they have a trick, what does it look like? All right? So, if they had a trick there, it's pretty bad for us, right? They get to use a wasted mana on a turn where they're not using the mana anyway. And trade one for one for one, kill my thing, uh... And also the sizing wise here, it's only one damage anyway. If that had been like their turn three, totally untapped, we could make them waste the trick. To, I'm sorry, waste their mana with the trick and not play a three drop. That could be profitable for us also. So it's always important to ask yourself, not necessarily the binary, do they have it? Do they not have it? Try to ask yourself, what does it mean if they have it? What does it mean if they don't have it kind of thing? So uh, the, we're, we're on the play. So the, the, in, in, in a missed line drop. Thanks, Fought. Appreciate that. Some my YouTube folks, some my stream folks. I just love all y'all. Like, I just, I, hold on, nope, nope. Not, not, not in that way. Just in a more like, thanks for paying my bills kind of way. You're all, you're, yeah. Give me what I want. Yeah. That's not what I want. Ooh. All right, so we got Decadent Dragon uh, in the main phase. We're up, we are in bronze. So, uh, exile two cards from my deck. And then they get to, uh, to threaten a 4-4 four -four next turn. We draw a counter spell, which is interesting. Uh, we're holding counter now, I think. So, thanks, Pip. Appreciate it. All right, so there you go. See if we go land cast this. Of course, they drew out two cards from me. That was my card. We're, we're playing the same lands here. Play of a dragon. Play of a dragon. Say play of a dragon in chat. Say cast your dragon. Just cast it. Carl, you sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. Oh, yeah. Get off my plane. Bargain. Dormammu, I came to bargain. I am altering the deep. Pray I don't offer it. My plans have been hatched. Now I must force some fruition. They didn't even attack. They were still just made. Wow. All right, so we draw second plans, a bounce spell. We got a witch to bargain off of also. Transmuter. Should attack my spellcaster, I think. That was a huge, huge play, obviously. We drew a bunch of cards. We're safe on the board. Play this. I like to draw a land and go like plans plus witch or like play out the bounce spell plus plans if we have to. Cursed roll plus, plus bounce spell. You know, always try to be thinking about planning out your next few turns also. Similar to the binary question we had before. It's never just like, should I play A or B? It's, if I play A, what does next turn look like? If I play B, what does next turn look like? What does two turns down the road look like? You know, what are we going to be planning out our next few turns and so on and so forth? So we see... Um, a raised dead of a dragon, and then they cast the expensive taste again. All right, so they're kind of burying us in cards here. I guess they're not, because we missed the hatching plans, but all right, sure. So now I get to attack, and no good bounces, no good curses. Kind of a waste of mana to just play hatching plans and nothing else. Here's about sorceries, right? And then it kind of sucks. We do get a roll, though. Then we get to scry, too. Let's bounce this. Um... Yeah, just like bounce it, get a scry, play hatching plan, say go, set up for next turn. We have uh, some cards to get back to. It stole my lands, I know, right? My lands! Alright, let's do this, yeah, so let's do this. We're mostly doing this just to like put the roll on my, my visitor, so uh, we're gonna get the... This is gonna be a sorcerer's roll. So... First roll of bronze to What's a roll? So these are the tokens. They're auras. They augment your creature for six different ones. Four of them give plus or plus one some small ability. One uh, gives your creature who's small a way, a way to grow. And the last one goes into your opponent's creatures and makes them smaller. Uh, so that's kind of cool. But for now, we're going to do this. We're going to attack for uh, a little chunk. 
We're going to give a little scry. Our top card's Forced Fruition. We kind of want that card to win the game with. Um, I'm going to keep it. Even though we, we're, we're going to miss line drop next turn. We'll see. We might miss line drops. Here's Hatching Plants. Next turn could be the Witch, and we can just bargain it. Draw three cards, too. So we can bargain and then cast like a, a Sleight of Hand and get more rolls, too. So This only goes on other creatures. That's, that's fine, I think. So now they have six lands, but they have no board. They have a bunch of cards, a bunch of material. Uh oh What happened? Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. What do I do? What do I do? I need an adult. The camera's broken. It's freaking Bronson Mythic. I, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. I'm frozen. I'm frozen in ice. All right, everyone. Chill. Uh, I don't know what to do, actually. I, I, I don't have a, I don't have a plan for this. All right, everyone just pretend that I'm, I'm, I'm frozen. All right. Uh, let it go and stuff, right? Uh, we're gonna, uh, okay, sure. We're good. Um, we're, yep. Hi. I, <laughs> Still a piece of garbage. We're good. Um, it's fine. We're good. I'll make it work. Uh, so, we gotta... We don't want to bounce the dragon, really, because, like, it's just gonna make them uh, do it again. We gotta push through here, though. Get the witch. We just, like, witch the plans. What do we have a raver? We got the counter spell, sleight of hand. Not much. Let's just do this. Let's see what we draw. I'll we'll probably just cast the, the cursed roll on the dragon, too. Let's cast this. And I'll we'll bargain again. By Grapthar's hammer, what a savings. Drain for one. And we're going to draw land. Awesome. And we're going to... Oh, I'm sorry. This is the other one. Oh, this is the only one that return spells. This works too, actually, obviously. So, this is fine. Um, cursed roll there. And then... See, I thought it was the one that, get that, that did the other thing, too. That, that brought the spell back. That's fine, though. That's cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, so cool. This one gives a cursed roll on a creature. It also triggers the, uh, the visitor. Let me just attack here. So they're dead if they don't block at all. Let's get try one, two. Um, <laughs> Grim Search. Sure. Cool with me. Just flooded with cards here. Double hatching plans in our first game, too. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, oh, yeah. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so they're gonna block both on this thing. So they still have that trick. That's fine. Uh, we'll try and kill the dragon. So they have possible on first strike, or they have the uh, the monster card. Plus on first strike, sure. So still have a trade for us here. Uh, we trade two for three for whatever one. They take two. Um, all right, and then we have a uh, nothing. We say go, but like we have like you know just infinite resources. They have a lot of resources too, honestly. But uh, I know. See, look at me. I'm moving. See, I'm here. I'm moving. I'm moving. Here I go. I'm like the guy from South Park ever. You know? Hey! Hey! Hey, buddy! Hey! It's a boot! It's a boot! It's a boot! Feed the cauldron! Food! Hey! Let's find some food. I'm Canadian. Alright, uh, play a trainee. It's a first strike on their turn. And then they also killed my... My 3-2, which is fine. Um, hey, buddy! Don't kill my stuff! Alright, so... We got a land. We can just like cast the fruition, honestly. It's kind of weird to like. Oh my god, they're playing so many cards. 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36. Oh, they're I just can't do math. <laughs> okay, uh, sure. Uh, we're good. Um, two, four, land. I guess we just like killed with this friggin' thing, too. They're at five. We can kill. We can just do anything we want. Uh, this thing only puts rolls on other creatures. I cast this big thing. I'm freaking die, whatever. Let's figure it out. They have this thing, too. Your lips are moving. Your lips are moving. Get some life, sure. Play big idiot. Uh, cast this big chonker and say go. And, uh... Everyone, follow the stream! Ha ha ha! Follow the stream! Look at me! I'm so good looking! Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! Now I'm here. Now I'm there. Now I'm here. Now I'm there. Woo 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 woo. Do it live, folks. They're gonna play my splashy spellcaster. Sure. I mean, they're gonna play my splashy spellcaster. Play grabby giant. Sure. They're like slowly crawling back in the game here. Um, we can go nightmares and curse. You just like kill. 
There's six, six, kill the big thing, kill a small thing, yeah, kill this. Sorcerer's roll here. Uh, again, the end visitor was both awesome. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. We, we, we win. All right, cool. Game. We did it. We won. Yeah. 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 I'll try and fix the camera. Not that there's anything wrong with it, obviously, but. All right, I'm back to being an American. Whoops. Whoopsie. All right, we're good to go. And I know I want to be an American. <laughs> All right, so we got uh, a witch. Hands thin. We're lacking a bargain piece and stuff. We're going to keep this, whatever. We're good to go. We're, we're good to go. Whoops. Whoopsie. All right, so let's go. Island go. Good start. Good start. I remind you all, of course, watching on YouTube. Uh, if you like what I do, if you like what any content creator does, it's really, really important, folks. If you take that half a second out of your time, hit the like button. All right, you just do it for me. All right, helps out a ton. Every video, don't be stingy. You know, the one of the things about doing content is that you're kind of forced to operate among the currency of the content, you know, and likes are the currency on YouTube that makes things work. So if you're watching on YouTube, take a second, hit the like button, it means a ton, thanks so much. I'm not gonna cast a naked witch here. Uh, I'm gonna cast a sleight of hand, see what happens. We got a blue white opponent, a little frosty stuff. We got the grim search or the ice house. Currently I have no thing to sacrifice, which is kind of crappy actually. Um, we're gonna search this card is just like, do mana draw two, worst case scenario, so it's fine. Play an island, say go. We got Spellcaster. Need to have more things in play. Kendall new sub, what's your name? Wave welcome. Appreciate that so much. You're a pile driver now, folks. If you're a pile driver, we're in the Discord. Land go, bunch of bunch of cards in hand. Alright, so I'm gonna cast Spellcaster. I might get countered or whatever, I might just die, but whatever, it's fine. A little awkward in that like it uh it doesn't it doesn't make a roll on itself. But we have Scream Puff next turn. Kind of a weird, weird draw for us. They haven't done anything though, so. Oh god. Oh god, don't do it. Oh god, I don't. This Saturday, you're playing the pre release. Any tips? Are you playing the Paladar pre release? Any tips? Uh, try and maximize the power level of your pool. If you, got, if you got good cards, try and play them. Simple as that. Are there more counter spells? Not a common, I don't think. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, there is. A spell stutter. There's a fairy counter spell. We draw a quick study? Sure. This is like a super sketchy game so far. Is there a kill attacker card? Don't care. We've heard Scream Puff is good. That's been the, uh... Oh, we getting, we get, it's getting icy in here. All right, everyone. Chill. All right, tapped. No problem. All right, do they have a disdainful stroke from a Scream Puff? Well, we need a few good taters. It's good. It's good. It's good. Wandering Emperor, bring it on. Love to see Wandering Emperor. Thanks for following us, I appreciate it. Hit the follow button. My name is Jim. If it's your first time here, I'm a pro magic player and full time content creator. I've been playing pro, pro, pro magic all year. I was a pro magic player back in the day. Retired, semi retired to do full, full time content seven or six, seven or seven years ago. And it's just randomly queued for a pro tour last year. And I've been kind of been on the pro tour ever since, which is kind of cool. So, very, very lucky. And uh, we got a curse here. A little. The Frogut is also cursed. A little curse here. But still works. Just base power enough as one, which is awesome. Uh, so we still have our, our make a food ability. It's kind of cool. It's also just a one with that touch, which is great too. So it's great. PJ Sports Life, new sub. What's anyway from Welcome. Uh, I cannot bargain this. No. So your your opponent still controls this. Therefore, I can put my own role on it also. And it can be cursed and wicked or whatever. It's kind of cool. So uh, we're going to jam. And then the food that I make can be bargained though, which is kind of sick. I think we're going to go tap Swamp, Swamp, Swamp. And uh, we're gonna cast the Grim Search. Make a land drop here. Have a counter spell also. Let's go search. Yeah, search, search, search. We're gonna bargain it. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> Ship the food. Counter here. Two rolls. Hatching plans land. This is an easy hatching plans and land. So sick. Uh, Oh, uh, what'd I do? Alright, I did it right, thank god. Alright, and we're gonna go just land. We're gonna hold land and go. Hold, hold, hold the counter spell up. So we have a counter spell and quick study up. It's a nice little uh, thing. PJ says, been joining BTM. Keep up the good work. New York represent. Awesome, my friend. Aww. You're a pile driver now. Again, join the Discord and uh, hang out. We got fun, fun events going on here. Play their 3 4. Um, 
That does size decently well against my board, but that's fine, I think. I don't really care about that. This is also the, uh, the cursed roll one. It's pretty cool, too. So, quick study. Uh, we add a roll here, nothing happens. So, yeah, we'll just, like, make a new one. It does actually make the roll. Uh, so, if we had the thing in play that triggers for an ETB, I believe it would still make a trigger, I think. Not sure, though. We'll only one draft tonight. But then, again, we got all week also. So, reminder real fast about the schedule. Boom. There it is. Tomorrow, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Bronze to Mythic. Pre-release on Saturday. Commander Night on Saturday. If you're a power driver now, join the Discord for info on those. And then that's the schedule. Always on YouTube, always on Twitch, and so on and so forth. Check it out. All right, so we drew a land. We have Visitor, Hatching Plans, Counterspell. We have, we have Force Version also. They have uh, 26 cards in deck. We kind of want to just, like, witch this thing. We can, like, witch and Hatching Plans and Visitor. That's actually how you guys do all these things. Not in that order, obviously, but... We could play Fruition in the, in the, in a, 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 I think playing Fruition with counter, with counter is pretty good, too. So you can defend it. So let's go this. Let's go this. And then, uh... Bargain time! I come to bargain. Shift this. And we're going to make a, make a thing. Draw some cards. ETB. Put a little curse down. And, uh, attack, attack. We're just, we're just flying right now. Scry, get lands, cursey thing, sure, we're good. Most importantly, next turn we have Counterspell plus Fruition up, which should be like, a, not a hard lock, but like, pretty damn good. What's up, Sal? We played a Chaos Earth in paper in Indy like six years ago, sick. Uh, is it at a GP? I vaguely remember that. Solitary Sanctuary. This is going to be uh, one of the, the blue-white, like, tappy cards. So you're going to tap things down, get a benefit for it. And they're going to freeze again. Freeze! All right. Uh, sure. So now we have stun counters here. If a creature would untap with a stun counter on it, it does not untap, and you remove a stun counter instead. So slow, a little slow burn. Uh, draw a transmuter. But now we have the fruition plus ice out, I think, which is fine. We're at 15. Good life total. Let's play a land. Play force fruition with the blue, blue up. So, we're going to attack. Forest Fruition is a pretty cool card. So, Visitor is... So, kind of a weird card, right? It says, whenever opponent casts a spell, they draw seven cards. Only opponent, not us. So, while obviously your opponent drawing seven cards is not necessarily a good thing, uh, the thing about it is, this means they can only cast a few more spells before the game ends. So, they, they get to draw a bunch of cards... But draw seven, draw seven, draw seven. That's like no! 21 cards. And they currently have 24 cards. So here's Grasp of Fate. So draw seven. And this thing can target uh, any non-land permanent. We're going to counter this. Counter this. And we're going to bargain. Because we have to bargain, right? So we're going to bargain, sack of food, right? Actually, we, we can just sack the roll to make a new roll, right? It's kind of cool. So we actually get a, we get a, uh, we get a uh, trigger for that too. So sack this thing, trigger the spellcaster, put the roll here. Panda, new sub. What's the name? We're from Welcome Shadow. Also resub. Thanks so much. Uh, ice out. Counter that. And now they have uh, 17 cards in deck. They can cast two more spells. So you gotta make them good. Within 15, you know, like. These are draft decks, not constructed decks, so... Card might look a little weird, but it's actually a really, really good win condition. Although, you gotta build your deck in a controlling manner. Having a counter spell like that was very, very good for us there. Because if they just kind of killed this, they just draw seven and kill it. That's very bad for us, so... Draw seven more cards. Gonna keep the, uh, the Scream Puff tapped, which is fine. A little more icy action. Attack for three. Yeah, sure. So now they have one spell left. left. That's it. We have a removal spell. This game is over. I could not imagine losing this game. Uh, I have to like look at the set, look at all the cards in the set, and try and figure out what can make, make us not lose this game. So uh, we got to land because we're also just gonna, gonna deal damage and killing them too. So we can like just kill this and yeah, kill this. Put a roll here. That drains for one off the thingy. Leaves the anyway, right? That's kind of lame. We're gonna kill them before we uh. Before we actually, uh, 
Deck them or gonna kill them. That's boring. Boring. Alright. Sorry, folks. No force fruition kill. We're just 2 0. I guess. <sighs> After it was all over, we took us in the house to serve his pancakes. Wait, what? That's what's up! They don't give you the regular card styles for this. In March of the Machines, you had the option to like make your Ragavan look like normal, like an actual magic card, not like a freaking ugly piece of crap. Aha, uh -huh, they don't know about here. I'm really, really sad. Get through it together, you know? Kenzel reset, thanks so much. We got Ice Out, Keeper, three, two visitors. Pretty bad hand, but we can we keep this. We have Bounce Spell, Counter Spell, Creature. You can draw Black Source or Spells. It's fun. Not great, but fun. Oh god. Let's beat up sleeves like that. Draw the land. Easy game. <laughs> Bingo. All right. Let's take up. We got bounce spell, some more visitors. Little beat up card sleeves. We're gonna frolicking familiar me. Let the adventure begin. So blow off steam, one damage, any target. And then the the familiar is a like prowess otter. Draw another with visitor, sure. All right, Zygra two. This set's slower, fast. This is our first draft and our, our third game. We're we're on we're on the ground floor, folks. Uh, I will say just from like doing my set review, which you should watch on my main YouTube channel, uh, that the set feels like it's got a lot of cool stuff going on, which I think is very impressive and I'm very excited about. So, uh, play land and jam. I'm gonna trade obviously totally reverse. Awesome. We're gonna jam the. Uh, the Spellcaster, which is very, very good here. And our cast answer Sorcerer's Spell, make our Sorcerer's Roll. So you can keep uh, rolling up my creatures, draining for damage. Pretty awesome. We're going to bounce it, sure. Sleight of Hand. I want to say that for after, so I'm just going to cast it again, whatever. Just cast it again. We're winning, the, we're winning the race here by, like, a lot. We have, like, a bunch of creatures in play that drain life, which is kind of cool, too. We can go Visitor plus Sleight of Hand plus uh, Bounce Spell if you draw land, too, which is kind of gas. Freaking Otter Wizard. Should I do it again? <laughs> the thing is that, like, I'm happy to keep playing this game. If we got to keep doing this every turn. It's cool with me. We draw Stab Wound. All right, so... Maybe we'll just, like, Visitor Bounce... Or 10. Eh, whatever. Let's put it play again. <laughs> yeah. Alright. How about a third time? Alright. We'll just do it again. It's cool. It's fine. It's cool. Land 6. An Archive Dragon. Pretty big. Uh, this thing cannot bounce that. Only bounces small things. That's a little scary, actually. Uh, they're dead, though, right? Yeah, they're, they're actually just dead, so it doesn't actually matter. So, uh, we just, you know, now they've taken so much damage, they just die. So we get to go slide a hand. Put a counter, or put a, put a roll here. Lose two life. I mean, I guess I could have played, what else? It doesn't matter what I do, actually, so. Play this. Uh, we'll just bounce this thing, put another roll. Leave counter spell up. Uh, you tap like an idiot! An idiot! We actually don't have lethal. I can't do math. Um, and if we tap right, we would have lethal? God, you stupid, 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 stupid. We have technology. Whoops. Whoopsie. All right, whatever. Uh, we'll attack with everything. They block one, go to one, and they're just like dead. Oh, I'm sorry. These, these are wicked, right? No, sorcerer. Never mind. All right, so. Uh, yeah. Play visitor. Why is my visitor attack lethal? There's no trigger. What are you talking about? Uh, first one's not good here. Yeah, they're still super dead, but like... They ain't dead this turn. They block this. It's not a wicked roll, folks. It's a sorcerer's roll. Wait, what? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I can't read! Um, I was like to just stream, not read. Never probably get those I don't know why I had it the other way. I'm sorry. I had it as ETB. We're good. We're good. Everything's good. Yeah, we're it's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. I just didn't. Uh, I just thought it was on ETB for some reason. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. I don't know what's going on, folks. 
Listen, all right, scoreboard, scoreboard. Ugly hand, uh, his hand's pretty bad. Get him all give us one. Bronze to Worlds, folks. You gotta, you gotta, we gotta work our way up there, you know? This hand is great. We're gonna keep this and dump slight the hand because our hand's already good. We have Visitor, Plans, Siege Rhino, all pretty nice. I don't read cards till at least episode, till, till at least Platinum, honestly, so. All right, so we got uh, turn to Duelist or Visitor. Um, Dragon Soup, new sub, what's the name away from welcome? I think we're gonna just play Visitor. This card has more value later, so. Um, so we got like, maybe plans, let's see what happens. Nice lands, whew. Nice lands. A Mint Strosity. The Muffin Man? <laughs> All right, so uh, three one when it dies, make a food. Kind of card that's this card is pretty good. Pretty good. Like it's hard to not trade with it because it's a three one. Uh, I'm just gonna back. Trade's good. No trade's good for them. Just pretty tough, but whatever. We're gonna play a duelist and keep the ball rolling. He draws some lands here, honestly, but gonna buy some time, make some trades. Here's a catapult. This card seems really good in blue-red. It doesn't look as good in blue-black. But player duelist, draw land here, please. We got transmuted to, to make a cursed roll. It's actually like actively not, not great. Yeah, we'll just attack it like this. Dragon Soup says, first time checking out the stream. Love the YouTube show. Enjoy watching Lord of the Rings. Awesome soup. You're a pilot ever now. Thanks so much. And we got um, VD Manta, first time chatter. Everyone said I had a VD and I said I had a Dragon Soup, right? First time chatter, it's here for them, right? First time in the stream, seen every BTM since mom. Best there is. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Gotta hatch some plans here, you know? Super sneak sheep. Uh, it looks great so far. I have obviously first draft here, episode one, but definitely looks like a pretty awesome set. A lot of things happening. Um, a lot of cross, cross pollination between mechanics and stuff, which is really, really cool. Take one. We're at 19. Really want to draw land. We got a treasure off Grabby Giant. And they're going to ding me again. All right, I mean. Firecat Rider, new sub. What's your name away from welcome? I better see all y'all in the pre-release on Sunday. They're going to play Birthright Boon off of Kellen the Fae Blooded. Um, in and out, 20 minutes adventure. And they're going to get a Dragon Mantle. We draw up. Oh, that's pretty good. So now you can, I mean, cursing the catapult's like not even that good. Uh, but it's good. Actually, it's pretty good. They have this thing, which gets double strike for each ore. So they can put the Dragon Mantle on the thingy, which is like, whatever, I guess. We're going to draw three here, so let's just start here. Let's draw three. So let's do this thing. Do the whole uh, the whole bargain bit. I'd buy that for a dollar. Draw three. <laughs> Pretty much Saturday, yeah. What did I say? We got, oh my god, we didn't draw land. Uh, that's bad. That's really, really bad for us. Uh, it's now turn four. We've drawn a bunch of extra cards. We haven't drawn land yet, so... We're going to make this into a 1-1. One, one. Um, and now we are in a little bit of trouble. Uh, yeah. 17. They got some, yeah, some stuff going on here for sure. I think drawing a swamp would be nice. We have it. So you have a double striking 2 2. Uh, other creatures you control, you can control. Only one. <laughs> That's... So if I put a cursed rule on this, it's actually good for them, which is kind of tough. Uh, mantle here is pretty good. We have a lot of like, actual removal spells in this deck. Actually, yeah, we, yeah, we have some. We have some. So there's the mantle. Uh, so draw a card. This thing gets pumped. Still a defender. This thing is now a fire breathing double striker, which is scary. Uh, again, cursed roll, no good here. A little flooded. And they're also going to conceded witch. Which is going to put, so take one. It's going to put a wicked roll on this. I put a pen on you. We draw the land. So that's a start, I guess. Um, now three one here, damn. So we're going to go as so a double striker. This is terrifying. Uh, play land. Yeah, cursed roll wouldn't do anything here. It would shrink it by one. And they would pump everything, other things up also. This is the main character of a story, yeah. Um, I mean, we're going to attack in the air, I guess. Leaving up ice out is like... 
Oh, great. We can sacrifice the cursed roll. No sneaky reach here, is there? No sneaky reach, please. Don't do it to me. Whoa, that's cool. What is that? Super chat? What's a super chat? Oh, that is. Is that a donation? Thank you, super chatter. Carl, appreciate that. Thanks so much. All right, so. Just have swamp. So, do I want to cast both visitors or do I want to leave up ice out? Let's cast both visitors. I mean, let's, 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 let's go ice out. Play visitor and so go. We have the. Uh, we have the. We can sacrifice our cursed roll. It's kind of cool. Take one, sure. Sick. Awesome. Appreciate it. Play a six drop. Play a six drop. Play a six drop. Play something big. Boom. Boom. Play something. Boom. Big. Waka waka. Nope. Just tackle this thing. This is this is this is actually representing uh, three, six, twelve damage. I have to block. I'm just dead. Like. Between the pings, also, this freaking sucks. All right, sure. A giant has reach. Not if I counter it. Not if I counter it. All right, go on. This is a this is an ugly game. Obviously, we like missed a bunch of land drops too, which really sucks. But uh, this thing drains, open the air a little bit. Here's the giant. I was like, counter miss. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta spend our mana here. And if they don't play anything else, it's just like really bad. So, sack the cursed roll on their creature. Important to note. And then we ding for one of the visitor. Uh, we are out of things to bargain though, which I think is important to go out of the play the negotiator. But my boy's wicked Cool. Get iced. Get iced. Little raise that action. This card's pretty busted. You can draw a kill spell, honestly. Uh, next turn we can like, I mean, you can cursed roll just to like make an enchantment. We drop a land, great. All right, if we scream puff. We still can't beat the double striker, which is pretty gross. Uh, let's dink in for two. Yeah, let's send it. This is gonna be a hard game. This is like, just like, we're in the abyss right now. So we, so we draw our rules spell, we're in the abyss. Here's Scream Puff. Uh. Death Touch no good against First Strike, obviously. We can probably get the Chump again next turn. They have food to gain life. They have cards in hand. It's tough. It's tough. Seven mana, three cards in hand, and a monstrous chonker in play. Three, three, double strike, fire breathing, pump your squad by two. Attack. So three, four, five, six, seven. That's 14. I just have to block or I'm dead. That's gross. Where are my kill spells at? Huh? All right. Here you go. There's your block. This thing dies the first strike, so we can't make a food, which is kind of cool, I guess. We could like make a food and play the negotiator. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Let's see what they draw. Your transmuter also. The old scream puff. Let the adventure begin. M Cullen, new sub. What's your name? Where are you from? Welcome. There's a witch. Four two menace because of this thing. Oh my god, we're getting we're getting killed this game. We're just getting soloed by Kellen. Just totally soloed. Cut in. Gonna put the young roll on the witch. It's already too big to do anything about it. Uh, this sucks. Uh, so, if we attack and make a food... Playing the negotiator, we get to gain three life, but it's like not enough to survive this thing. Um, oh, it's three or less. Oh wow, yeah, it does get a counter. Holy crap. Uh, we're we're dead. Um, I don't know how to say it, say it any any more real than that. Let's get the creep to pop in, see what happens. Big death touching, disgusting candy vomit purple thing. 
Uh, and now I can make a food. We could, like, cursed roll this. And then play a visitor to chump block this again. <laughs> All right, yeah, we're trying. You know, let's curse roll this thing. I guess if we're gonna chop each, we just play the uh, the transmuter. This thing is three uh, three life drain to your opponent. So now this is a three one. It's a stupid freaking thing. Also, um, I play this and gain three life, or play. I'm sorry, play play this thing and chump block, or play vi visitor and gain three life. It's gross if just taking too much, too, much, too, much, too much damage next turn, too. Let's hit this. Let's just take up. I want to keep the food, I think, for the uh, negotiator, so. General Kenobi, the negotiator. No! That's a lot of fire breathing, folks. Oh, we're so dead. Oh, God. Oh, don't. Oh. Stop the damn die. Death waiting room right here. Carry the one. Fire breathe. Carry the... Great time to follow the stream. Hit the like button. Just follow, me, follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Hit all the buttons. Do all the things. Appreciate the support. You're all great. You're just you're just so swell. Yeah, obviously I'm dead, alright. It's really good. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah, kill me. Three, four, five. They tap wrong? Am I still dead? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Yeah, I'm just dead. Alright. I'm actually just dead without any pumps at all with a ping. So yeah. Tough game. Kind of got mass screwed. Got sold by a double striker. Uh, yeah. I'm dead twice. Twice is nice. Alright, so tough game. That's fine. Shake it off. Dragon Soup is John from Philly. It was Philadelphia. Born and raised in the playground. John spent most of his days chilling out, maxing, relaxing, and tapping some mountains to count some light bulbs, lightning bolts, lightning, lightning. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep. Slide a hand. I don't wrap for every new sub, but, you know. Oh my god, no block. Alright, uh, we'll take the puff. That's bad. Slide of hand was, like, carrying some weight there, I'm not gonna lie. Another island? Gross. Uh, Somebody's playing a prank on me. Sure. Alright, that's, that's a great draw. A little study action, a little, the little cancel plus divination, uh, squeeze. Instant speed divination is kiss. A vanilla 3-2 witch. Sure. Draw two. Still no black? Alright, this is ridiculous. Our deck is eight islands and eight swamps. Where are my shuffle retrievers at, huh? Where, where are you at? Where are you at? I gotta sit. I play basketball tonight, and I'm really, really old. And, uh... Got my ass beat. Uh, discard a card, draw two, make a wicked roll. That's pretty bad, actually, for us. I'm gonna counter this. I, I we gotta cash in here. Once this grows, I can't block it either, so I'm just gonna cash this in. Too far behind to be uh, to be uh, stingy with our ice out. So. All right, everyone. Chill. Who's my NBA comp? What? Like, complimentary basketball player? What? 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 what, what? Alright, um, I'm just gonna cast this because we need to make a blocker. We need to just survive here to find a swamp. Now that we're halfway through our deck, I haven't had a single swamp yet. Oh, do I play like? Uh, one that's not in the NBA. <laughs> I'm kind of like a more of an outside y kind of guy. You know, some short jump shots. I have no idea, honestly. Are you kidding me? Come on! We now have drawn. Seven of our eight islands and zero of our swamps. This is not even reasonable. Did they bounce this? They bounce, sure. But again. Alright, my question is what are the odds we draw the last isle before the swamp for like the total complaint equity? 
We like sleight of hand too. We like know our bottom card. Oh, a black black card. Of course. Why? Why would? Why wouldn't we draw a black black card? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, sure. I guess go. Mono blue. Mono blue. We're gonna grab a giant and make a treasure. Sure. Let the adventure. I mean, we're eight. We're just freaking dead. That's a good card. They just cast six drop. Actually. All right. Obviously dead to literally anything. This card's really, really good. This card plays uh, Instant Sorcerer off the top of your deck, which is very, very powerful in the blue-red deck. That's not a blue-red card. Um, that's the uh, the blue-red sign... Blue-white signpost uncommon, the tappy card. Really, really good. Oh, sure. Hilarious. Very, very funny. We're dead, folks. We're dead. Well, this was an actual non-game. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Sometimes you lose, folks. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> That's magic sometimes. It is what it is. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes you just play eight swamps and eight islands and draw seven of one and none of the other. <laughs> you know, auspicious. I say it's great. Let's keep this. This is the cursed roll. The, the, these two cards do look, do look alike. The uh, the one that like curses and the one that brings a card back. But this is great, obviously. Hatching plans into bargain. Was the prediction seven islands or seven wins? Ah, there you go. There you go. All right, so there so you go. We got green black this time. Have we even seen a green deck yet? Ah, uh, Minstrosity. It's particularly good. Okay. Um. I might just bounce this to put them off curve. And then, I guess our next turn is kind of bad, though. So if I play Hatching Plans, I can curse it, right? Oh, that works. I always do that. But I'll, I'll have cards in my hand. So I, I have, this is six cards. Draw to seven. Land is six. This is five. Draw three. I'll have to discard a card, actually. Uh, I like I can handle that, honestly. Um, so we transmute. Hmm. Just like don't really have another good turn. Good turn. I mean, we can just like play this and play something else too. I'll play this. Let's just like go. Play our hatching plants. This card's really good. It's like a really, really good two drop. We need to disenchant it. Barrow naughty. This card's really good. Uh, where's a roll? Very well, obviously. We draw a spell caster. All right, we're going to just play the friggin' just draw some draw cards, so... Let's Witch, let's Bargain. By Grapthar's Hammer, what a savings. Sack this. Let's curse the Minstrosity. Your zero lands again? Are you kidding me? <laughs> discard a hand size. We'll discard, um... I hate the Counterspell. It's never time to leave that up, so... Say go. Double spellcaster. I mean, have to block here, obviously. They're gonna have a trick of some kind. That's fine. This is death touch. Yeah, whatever. I'll block this. All right, what do you got, friend? I mean, they only have two cards left, so like we could draw land and stabilize. We can draw land them. The assassin kills it. Sure. So that's a card I didn't even think of. Obviously, in the first draft, three one flyer kills things. Draw the hatching plans. This is ridiculous. This is a preposterous game of magic. Um, you just curse the assassin, I guess. Curse this. This thing can pump, which is kind of annoying, but. We could visit her, sure. We draw like three extra cards this game, too, which is just disgusting. Yeah, discard a card, whatever, sure. Uh, we'll discard a. Uh... A spellcaster, I think. Just like too clunky. Right, down to 10. They have nothing left. Like, they've actually... We drew a land, too. All right, so we can go land. Um, once we're at 5, this thing costs 2 also. Play Spellcaster here. It blocks everything. We take 3 in the air, though. I guess we take 4 because of this thing, too. Uh, otherwise, we can, um, like, Bounce Spell and Visitor. Visitor doesn't really have good blocks either, though. Royal Reset, thanks so much. Um, this blocks this. We take 3, 4... Four's a lot. 
spellcaster that I can go visitor. Visitor bounce spell. Sucks is like all their things kind of suck. So like we have these two four minor rule spells. We get we can't really afford to play one thing. Alright, let's play spell. Let's play spell. Obviously, if they just like draw very well here, we're gonna lose because we're behind on the board by like a massive amount. So if I want to, I can uh, trade the Spellcaster for the Tabby. That's really bad, too. That's bad. All right. I mean, now I get to exile this with the removal spell. Oh, we got a six, not five. That sucks. This is cheaper if it costs five. Uh, I just bounce the Naughty, see if it works also. So we can go land, visitor, bounce, which is pretty good. And then uh, just try and keep doing our thing here. Flat reset, thanks so much. So visitor this. Bounce the Naughty. Paro Naughty. This stuff is freaking 4 5 or 40 trample, though. It's kind of bad for us. And then we have. Oh, they get a rat, too. Oh, right, because the, the, the enchantment died, right? Okay, so. Now we're at 5. I said the visitor, too. God damn. Does Navis think that's cheaper? Alright, so. We got a lot of work to do. We got a lot of work to do here, folks. Another tough game here. Another really bad draw. Um. Four. Here's the Barrow Naughty. Playing that, overplaying the uh, the Were Fox. So we unfortunately can't do a lot of things. We can the end and with visitor. Just end the Barrow Naughty. The problem is that, like this visitor should chip away at us over the next few turns. Which really sucks. I just sat down, Sharp. I just sat down. Um, yeah, we're in some big doo-doo. We are in some doo-doo there. 23. Racing is so... And it's about like this, you need to figure out, like, okay, what do I need to do to win this game? You know, what needs to happen for me to, like, actually win this game, even though we're so far behind? And so we're looking for a plan. Racing isn't really a plan because we're 23. Uh, it's kind of hard to stop all their stuff. So we're struggling a little bit to find a recent plan. And they have some flyers you can't really stop. Um, uh... So we're just going to visit her and play the end. Just like kill this, take one, try and make it work. We can't really attack either. This sucks. Say it, ladies and say go. Uh, just going to die. And they just cast this thing too. When this thing dies, they take, take, another, take another point also. So this is going to be very, very difficult to win. Tap green, green, black, sack the nightmare. This is going to be in their main phase. So we're going to lose one life. And they're going to scry two. And make a rat. Jeez. Do we have any life gain in our deck? <laughs> um, Alright, no blocks. Green boy, reset. Thanks so much. The seed round would be great here. That's like the best. That's, that's our best possible draw. I like that a lot, actually. So that's a card we're playing to. Is the siege rhino. We can play the siege rhino. Drain for three. Make a flying blocker. That's excellent. All right, so exile this. Search their hand in libraries. Their hand is not dead after all. And leaping ambush. Oh my god, what a disaster. Are we just dead? Uh, we are not dead, but we are extremely close to dead. Uh, their library, they have another Baron Naughty. Uh, I don't want to look at their library, whatever, sure. And the graveyard, got none. Alright, sure. Uh, yeah. Need Siege Flyno. That is not Siege this, this returns a spell. I should actually got a gas. We can return, um... We can return the end. Cast it for two. Kill the flyer. It's also a blocker for the board. Alright, we're... We're still sort of, kind of, not dead yet. Uh, let's bargain. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I am willing to make. Faithful hour, I know, right? Freaking magic nerds. And they're gonna kill us on their turn. It's gonna be so hard to win this game, but let's keep trying, I guess.
This exiles to the uh, not dead after all. Will not work on it, obviously. My baby, don't mess around because of blah, blah, blah. Card's good, obviously, you know. It's kind of nice to have this, like, catch-up card when you're behind. Alright, I mean, unless they have something super nice here, it's, like, pretty good for us, right? Lock here. I mean, they can, like, I guess they can roll and lose one off this. We're still, like, really close to dead, but sure. So, the enchantment's gonna die. We're gonna wa go to one. And they can save their... I'll leave this thing, too. I'm, I'm freaking... I'm, I'm so stupid. Can give death touch? Sure. Then we go for lethal here, right? And then they just know we have this. Obviously, let's cast this. Alright, so cast this. Put a roll uh, here. That's my enchantment. Oh, you're right. It is my enchantment, actually. Good catch. Mm, word. Good catch. So, they have no more of those, looks like. Could, like, figure out their entire deck. I don't want to look at their deck. I'm just... That's too much work. Take some damage. We finally got a below 20, I guess, right? That's a... That's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they can use this thing to save their visitor, but not actually do much else. They can save their tabby, too, I guess. Or two. We have this thing. We have these things. What do I get if I win this game? What do I get? What are you going to give me? I need some inspiration right now. We are really behind. This would be quite the win. Alright, so... Now they're going to put a Wicked Roll on the Visitor. So now this will kill us if it dies. This thing exiles it though, so... going to save a Tabby too. Sure. So, Wicked Rolls, when this thing dot or when the aura dies, it lose one. And this thing, if the aura dies... Oh, no, I'm sorry. It doesn't give the ability to the creature. It's on the actual aura. So, I need to block this, which I can do, without killing it. Okay. Sure. Now I get to attack with one of these. We have, like, a, a, a decent chance to win this. Um, it is whenever the aura dies... Oh, and this will also make this not trigger this too, also. So, um... Exile Visitor go to 1. We don't need to do that yet, I don't think. So I'm going to attack with the bull 3-3s. Three I'm going to scry and play this. And we're going to start to try and race. Oh, shit. Um... No swamp. Looking for Siege Rhino. Ooh, that's two looks at it. All right. It's our first really tight game of the series. First are fun, you know. John's first day of school is tomorrow. It's our first episode of Bronze to Mythic. Our first tight game. We have a good block here. Play 6-5. I guess this is a bad block. I might just play this transmuter and play that plan. So I have to kill this tabby and blocking a 6-5 on a tabby is pretty bad, so. Now they're at 13. So now we're actually like making some progress. A new roll would ship this roll to the graveyard, yes. A new roll would kill us here. We 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 a lot of things here, honestly, but uh, John's will be 13 soon. He's going to 8th grade. Alright. One Siege Rhino, please. Put a Sorcerer's Roll here. Ice Out. Ice Out is interesting, actually. Um, I can't cast it right now, but... Another Visitor is redundant, I think, so let's take the Counterspell. I could try and not seal things up for us, but, like, defend us a little bit here. 
Uh, if this thing dies in combat, uh, then we only take one. We're going to take him by Nightmares. I guess the Visitor, right? We should do it now-ish. So I can afford an attack with the Visitors and Scry and look for our Siege Rhino. Attack with these two and then take my Nightmares this thing. If I exile a Visitor, the War, war will trigger and I'll go to one, which I think is fine. Um, we're dead, dead to a top deck, whatever. That just is what it is. Being dead to a removal spell is... We're also like, now we're actually racing. So... Bottom. Bottom. They would get a rat. You are correct. Uh, yeah. So they block and trade, they get a rat. But then I can just exile a different thing. So, it's so wicked roll, yeah. Alright, so they're at 7. And now we can kill them next turn. So, like, we actually have a chance this game. Uh, let's say go. Stance, folks. Guess we're gonna do a kill spell. Um. If we leave a creature back, though, it's hard to make lethal next turn. No! How do you have a haste creature in your Golgari deck? Oh no! Hello, darkness, my old friend. What do they sack? Oh, the food. Oh no! Are we still alive, right? We're still alive. Oh, we're still alive. We ain't dead yet. Yeah, we, we kill this. We can we can block this. We can we can block this without killing it, which is the important part. You're still alive. Yeah, we're great. Okay, I'm sorry. Because we don't we, we because we have a way we have a way to block the visitor without dying. Um, making your roll deal two. Love it. I'm slow rolling. I'm sorry. Also has something else obviously too. But all right, so scry bolt these at the bottom. So we need to block the visitor and not kill it. And then block this and go to one. Um, all right. We just jam, right? Five, 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 huh? Oh my god. Oh my god. Is this possible? Conceivable? Did I sleepwalk? Did we do it? Scott? Scott's here for the resub in the big game. In the big moment. In the big moment. Stand back up. We did it. We did it. Game. Blouses. Who's in charge? Me or the devil? I think I'm in charge. Damn. Sup? All right. Did squats on stream. Oh, YouTube folks missed that. Uh, I was probably better off, honestly. We got stab wound. We have an okay hand. It's not great, but... Right, let's play this. Carl! Give them subs. Thanks so much. Yeah, they could have bargained, uh... Could have bargained the roll and killed us. But hey, listen. We're playing bronze, you know. You gotta play to your play to your routes, you know? Here's a visitor. Of the wicked variety. Alright. Blue-green stuff. Beanstalk Worm. Kind of goes to show how good adventures are, because, like, two mana explore, not draw a card, is a terrible magic card. But as an adventure, it's fine. In and out. 20 minutes adventure. Do I stand while I stream? No. No. Sometimes, yes. It's good. Gotta stand. Can't be at a desk all day, you know? Just, oof. We're doing it. Crystal Grotto, sure. We got a Ram spell and a Grotto, and they are really rampant. Holy crap. We have two lands to their five? What is standard in like 20, 2019 or whatever? It's just ridiculous. What's, what's, what's going on? All right, play land. Uh, we're gonna leave, leave, leave up ice out and uh, and the flash creature. Play a big thing, we counter it, cool.
Jay says, hey, Jim, stopping by to see if you have an opinion on older formats replacing standard. Uh, LDS just replaced FNM standard with Pioneer. Really? Now? They still had a standard FNM? Damn. I think standard is very, very important. Really, really important as a walking on point. Could write a, could write a book about it, honestly, but now is not the time. But I think standard is very, very important. You gonna cast your big spell or what? Oh, it's also a great curse target, too. Just freaking, you know, just one, one more reach now. So if they cast this, I'm not gonna counter it. I'm just gonna play with the, the witch and then make a little roll. Probably, maybe. I don't even know yet. Tempest Heart. If I'm going to free 3 4, trample, cast the big spell, put a counter on it, that's worth countering. Yeah, we'll counter that. Because that's, that's, that's a card we can't curse roll very well, so. And now we're just going to play land. Yeah, let's just attack and play our spellcaster. Pretty good. This card's been nice. Spellcaster. Pretty cool. Let's take it Got a nice board here. They play a big idiot. We curse it. Play this duelist. Got stab wound also. Oh. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. An extraordinary journey's been called. Alright, so what does this card do? Blue, blue, XX. Whenever it ETBs exiled to X star creatures for each of those cards, I normally play it for as long as it's exiled. I have to recast those. Okay. Whenever one or more non exiled creatures enters the battlefield, if it was. If one or more of the entered cards from X was. Oh, God damn it. Whenever one or more non token creatures enter the battlefield, if one or more was cast from exile, you draw. This card's messed up. What the hell is this card? Like, double bounce spell, double draws? Holy crap. This card's insane. Um, okay, I guess. I mean, I'm still going to cast my spell. All right, draw your card, I guess. That's, that's, this card's wild. This card is wild. Really, really good. Yeah, and they get adventure creatures to draw cards off that, too. This card's really good. All right, here comes this. They're, they're going to draw this thing, too. Damn. Uh, we got some work to do here, folks. Might need to draw Force, might need to draw force Fruition. Let me deck him here. Oh, my God. Stop. All right. We'll draw a Gatekeeper. Um, so now if I cast cards from Adventure, they also trigger? Jeez. This card's insane. Like, this card's busted. Busted, busted, busted. Um, so if I cast my adventures, they draw cards. And my hand's like two adventure cards, or I'd have a card over here too. Damn. I mean, I'm going to curse this, I guess, and just play the flyer. This sucks. Do I just play? Do I just like suck it up and drawing? Like, give him a card. I think I have to suck it up and give him a card too. So like, play this curse. This sucks. Wow, this card is ridiculous. Curse this. There you go. Got a flyer. Got a stab wound. Damn, this card's bonkers. I got no words, folks. Tempest Heart, draw two, discard two, but then when they cast it off of the uh, adventure, they draw another card too. Damn. Damn. Blue Robot Blue Bar with the raid, thanks so much, appreciate that. If you're interested in Bronze to Mythic. My name is Jim, Pro Magic player, full time content creator, and here we are doing our Bronze to Mythic run. We're starting it, episode one. Grab the from Bronze to Mythic. Simple as that. Let's go. Here's Tempest Heart, draw a freaking card, sure. Damn. This is, this is absurd. They've drawn like six cards. This thing was double unsummon, draw five cards. Like, for four mana. Make a food token? Yeah, I guess. All right. Uh, what's up, blue robot? All right, so... I don't know how we're going to win this game. Hatching plants is good. That's a start. Um, so we just, like, play plans, play stab wound, and just, like, attack for two in the air, and just kind of keep going, I guess. Force virtual would be good, but like they're just gonna kill us. They have, they have a bunch of power available too, you know. All right, attack for two. Could jump block if they want to, obviously. They don't. Stab wound is a plan. So now one, two, take two every turn. A little sulfuric vortex action. 
I'm very sad the real arts aren't in here. I'm very, very sad. I wonder why they chose to put the real arts for Marshall Machine, not for this set, you know? I mean, this card's obviously busted. This card's still good in our deck, though. We have a lot of uh, bargain effects. We have a 6-5 play next turn, also. I mean, we could just, like, race them, right, with the Flyer and the Stab Wound. They have a bajillion cards in hand and a food. This thing grows when they cast stuff. It's better than Bitter Blossom? Yeah, I think so. Bitter Blossom is fine and all, but like, this card's insane. Scales well, too. Bonkers. Bonkers card. So. Uh, Alright, no blocks. Looking for a path to winning this game. I just want to, get, want to get rid of Stab Wound, I think. They have 19 cards. We have 26. We do have forced, forced Fruition in our deck. Here's an Archive Dragon. That's a huge problem. It's a big flyer. Our plan was to fly them. Just get in with the flyers. Do the flyer thing. That was our, that was our plan. All right. The problem here also is that, like, they don't need to cast many more spells to win the game. So Forced Fruition isn't even, isn't even that good. Top, top. Oh, my God. Let's see standard play. It could, I think. Play a planes? That was a good draw. That was a really good draw. All right, so we are going to negotiate. Sack hatching plans. By Grabthar's hammer, what a saving. Take one. Take three. Don't draw a land. Is that good or bad? I don't even know. Say go. Down to six. We got a plan here. Um, Felix, reach up. Thanks so much. Now we have the end to exile the Archive Dragon. The problem is they have two creatures in Adventure. And they just draw cards whenever you do the thing. They're going to put a roll on this thing? Sure. You can do a sorcerer's roll. Your power exceeds that of the sorcerer's degree. Like Gadvik's first duel. Curse my flyer? Sure. Um, I mean, they are dying. You know, like, this thing also can kill them, too. We have the end of a bounce spell. I think we just jump block. Uh, we want to make sure we live. This thing's scry two next turn. I think we're ahead, honestly. Despite the fact that they're going to draw, draw more cards here, make more flyers and stuff, like, I think the stab wound just might just get them. They just, like, probably can't remember. They topped again? Jeez, they, they, they have the food here, too, I guess, but oh, we're going to block. So, 17. We have more bargain effects. Spellcaster. Here's a wizard. Draw another freaking card. Another visitor. Okay, so we can go visitor. Visitor, spellcaster, take a turn off. Just take a huge hit. I mean, otherwise I'm playing the end, playing the war, doing nothing else, taking a decent sized chunk. Oh boy, all right. So if I play this and play the visitor, and then I sack an enchantment, they should take two more also. Like I actually can just kill them. I can kill them even faster too. Let's do that. So with two visitors in play, if I Grim Search Bargain the Stab Wound next turn, I just die. So say go. Go to four, take a huge hit, whatever, and then I just say go, stab wound, sack the stab wound, kill them. That's the plan. That's the plan. I have a food, right? Okay, never mind. That's not the plan. Time out. Time out. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. Um, oh, whoops. Whoopsie. We can, uh, new plan. We need a new plan. That's fine. I, uh, there's a lot of things in play, all right? We... We, 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 we gotta just take an extra turn, I guess, or whatever. 
I guess if we um, just put the rolls on the visitors and attack, it's kind of cool too. They take two from the stab one and two, two from the uh, the bargain. We take eight this turn because the spellcaster can block the tempest heart and not kill it, which is cool. It's very important magic to actually have a plan, even if it's a bad plan. Like when I used to coach back in the day, like if my student had a plan and it was horribly wrong. I was still happy they had a plan. Because the worst thing you do when you're playing Magic is just like, to not have a plan at all. Just to be kind of like just playing cards as they come and just kind of like, you know, like doing things on a case, doing things on a case for case basis. So, don't try to have a great plan. Just have a plan. Really go, jeez. Ooh, we're taking, we're taking, taking, sweet, taking sweet time here, all right? So, let's try one, sure. Take an eight, and we're just gonna block here. Next turn, they get to copy a small spell. Um, we've got and rim search. This thing also just deals two damage to us, also, which is kind of rough. So. Need to watch out for that. This food might just get us here. They've drawn literally like eight more cards in us this game. So we are significantly behind on cards. Trying to, to, to scrap out a win here. Good play from our opponent. So our opponent used the curse roll on their own creature to kill it and therefore move a stab wound. Good play. Good play from our opponent. Now we gotta scrap a win together here somehow. Okay, so we can kill this flyer. Um, this is their roll. This is our roll. We can search. Sack this. They have a food. I guess if they crack the food, we just kill them in response, which is kind of gas, actually. Um, we just, like, need to make them do it somehow. Uh, hmm. How do we convince them to crack their food on the end step? We had a swamp, we could do the end and search and response also. Um God, that sucks. If we had one if we had a way to like double kill, we we, we, we do have a way to double kill, which we're short of mana. Um kill three, four, and attack, and then we'll get to actually like God, the bounce only bounces small things. So it bounces the human, attack with everything. Oh, that works actually. Bounce the human, attack with everything. And they have to crack the clue. Uh, that's it. That's that's the play. That's the play. All right. So we bounce the human, attack with everything. They have to crack this or they die, and then we kill them. All right. I, I like. Oh, oh, not that one. Not that one. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. This is the line, I think. We figured it out. Figured it out. We're gonna uh, we're gonna the end, I think. So we can, we can kill it too. It's like yeah, it works both ways. So uh, I'm gonna roll here too. Bang bang! Game. Oh. Blouses. Alright, we're good. 
We got it. We did it. We figured it out. Made him do it. Paul's obviously playing Tier 1 Island. Like, that's not, it's just not even close. Uh, fruition Negotiator. It's, it's a little slow, but it's fine. We have a Cursed Roll to kind of like fill in the uh, the gaps. So. Here it comes. Tier 1 Islands. They have Jace Sleeves, too. Oh, yeah. Tier 1 Islands. It's just, it's just, it's, I've never heard an island hit the ground harder in my life. Here it comes. Okay, all right, that's a mountain. Sure, it's fair. Let's take a go. Swamp. All right. We got a Tattered Ratter. This is a one of our rats blocked. It's supposed to, that's pretty good card. Not a great card to curse roll, unfortunately. Um, yeah, we'll just take a go here. I guess we can just like get the enchantment in place. So we have turn four caster, turn five. Yeah, let's do it. So you have turn four caster, turn five. Uh, what's it called? Siege Rhino. Yeah, if, if we had spreading seas, yeah, yeah, yeah. then we could do that. That's great. Baby curse. Make a treasure. Sure. Witch's mark. Why bother making the treasure? Sure, whatever. All right, in for two. Uh, we draw a tomb seeker. EDB bargain return instant or sorcery. Okay. I mean... Let's play Spellcaster and say go. Siege Flyno. I'm just kidding. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. Siege Flyno. We got any blue for Fruition, which is pretty fun. They kill this. It's fine. Whatever. We're going to cut in. Make another roll? Damn. We got a young hero here. It's actually a, benef a benefit for us now to stack this enchantment because it'll make it hardest harder to grow, so... Let's bargain it. Sack our aura. Fire up a siege rhino. 18, 17. Uh, we draw a lamb. We can play fruition, maybe. We can draw... Play two spells here. Play this thing. Crown of Winter. All right, everyone. Chill. Uh, this card's insane, obviously. Just an icy with a bunch of upsides, so that's pretty good. Not as good in the blue-red deck, obviously. I mean, in the blue-black deck. I mean, whatever, the black-red. I can't freaking talk, folks. I don't know what I'm saying. You're saying it wrong. I just say shit, all right? Um, so this thing is, they're attacking. I obviously could block here. If they have a trick, it's really bad. But I think it didn't tap for free either. The question now, once again, it's not binary. It's not like... Do they have a trick or not? It's if they have a trick, what's it look like for me? Um, it's a 4-4 four, four next turn anyway, which is kind of hard to stop regardless. Are we winning a race? No, because they have an icy in play. Um, I think this is probably a fruition game. So we're just going to block. Make, make, make me use a trick. Not take four. Use your trick. Um, what do you got? Candy Rabble? Sure. So these, they use a good kill spell. Could have killed it anyway with the, with that regardless. So, and we draw the end. Cool. So it's actually great for us because we have a good way we, we get it back also. So we're just gonna kill this, I think. But the question is, do I want to wait or do it later? Um, curve wise, we have a four drop, a four drop, a, uh, and then like a, a card we can't cast it with no no value. Let's gonna kill this. Uh, we'll do it in their draw. Oh, they draw a card now, right? So. Yeah, um, we'll do it in their draw step, or in their, during their turn, see what they draw, so that's fine. Stick up. It exiles, so there's no way they can, like, benefit off us, I think, really, so. Uh, the attack. We're gonna, the end it. And in the end. Thanks for following Cool Cat. If you haven't followed the stream, hit that follow button. Watching on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. Their hand is Torch the Tower, Callus Cell Sword, good one to know about, and a Voracious Vermin. Their library is another Ratter, Double Sewer Rich. Oh my god, that's insane. Uh, belligerent guys, a couple Racker thingies, some Spear Guards. That's pretty good. Uh, sure. Alright, so. Second main, they're gonna play. Play Vermin over Grabby Giant? 
say he used an account after each creature, but died. Did not die, was exiled. We just Scream Puff. Unfortunately, they have an Icy in play, which is kind of bad for us, but sure. I can draw a land, so I can play the 3 4 and the 2 2. They want to tap offensively here. Obviously, they can't. They want to tap one thing at once, so. 4 3. Gonna tap defensively, it looks like. Sure. Just a so really, really awkward mana curve. Everything freaking costs four. Just sucks. Um, I think we're just playing Tome Seeker as a 3 2. That's pretty bad, too. Uh, shit. 18, tap this. Play 3 4 or a 2 4. It's 3 4. This actually trades with this, so I'll play 3 4. We gotta work on this board a little bit, I think. This is a tough game. Like, this is kind of our mana curve coming back to bite us here, for sure. And the thing is, the IC in play, too, means they don't have to cast many spells to win, so Fruition here is, like, kind of dead. They're, like, already winning on board, so... Can't torch this either, which is good. Uh, adding automated captioning? Is that through Twitch, or is that for YouTube, or how does that work? Obviously, we're going to snap lock here. Uh, they have a Torch Tower, an unknown card. Uh, sure, this is fine. Alright, not a bad trade. We're still at 17. We draw a Counterspell. Probably the worst draw in our entire deck by a significant margin. Don't have double blue yet. Uh, I think we now need to cast. Um, that was kind of barking. It's freaking eleven thirty at night. Um, cast the three two and the two two. I think just to like not die. Yeah, I think it kind of sucks, but it just is what it is. Yeah, I mean, if someone wants to remind me of that in the Discord, I can take a look at it for sure. If it's something that I can do automatically, I would do that. Thanks, Mike. You're great. If there's a murderer outside coming to kill me, it's very possible. No bargain sucks. I know. Well, we're George dying here, folks. You know, we're we're just dying. We gotta stabilize the board a little bit here. So, they like, attack a rat, grow their vermin, kill my thing. Sucks, but is what it is. This card only cares about ETB, right? Yeah, so... Alright. They now have a... Oh, wait. They didn't sack a rat? Really? Inconceivable! Alright, sure. Our blocks here are great. And we're at 17. So, like, we have time, you know? I mean, not actually. I mean, I gotta go for the block. They have a trick, they have a trick. I think. Just is what it is. Wow! Really? Alright. This card's so good. Oh, no. That was the trick. It was back for seconds. That was the... That was the story. Get back a giant and a vermin in their hand, too. Damn. Well, now I draw a freaking island, obviously. Um, like four, five, six, seven next turn. If I cast Forced Fruition, we probably just die, so that's kind of out of the question, unfortunately. I could cancel the Rat. The Spellcaster doesn't really have many good blocks anyway. That's tough. That's tough. Tough, uh, tough game here. All those turns, we just sat there and just couldn't cast more than one spell. Really, really killed us. Um, they have the Rat, make a token. Play Fruition, they draw seven. They go to 14. They can cast two more spells. But with the Icy... In, the thing is the Icy is like a lot of spells at once. You just keep putting mana into it over and over again, you know? Um, play Spellcaster. If I tap this, attack for four, play the Rat. And then we're like... It's in pretty rough shape. Um, if I draw a land, I guess. It's pretty good. Oh, let's do it. I think it's our best chance to win. 
Let's go to combat. Let's have this. I'm going to play Fruition. Play Fruition. We draw a, a spell that costs two or less or an island. We can go Spellcaster plus, ca plus Counterspell. Um, like, might have a chance to win. No, wait. We take four, five, six, seven. We got a five. We're staying either way, I think. Uh, I'll just guess this. Sure. This sucks. All right. Yeah, is what it is. Attack for four here. Play the rat thing. Five, sorry. Yeah. We need to draw something very good here. Icy's just so nasty. Garmin's good. Going wide. Draw. Oh, no. Now the card that damages us. Oh, my God. All right. Um... We just died Icy Tap Tap. Oh my god. God damn it. Alright everyone. Chill. Uh tap this. Yeah, I don't see a way out here, realistically. Search and draw like. Take my nightmares, gatekeeper, stab wound. Quick study, witch, visitor. Yeah, really, really awkward games. Our mana curve kind of came back to bite us here a bit. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We can even draw, but sure, whatever, I guess. Man, Wicked Visitor. That's so good. Maybe those fly like, first tap or something. Icy's. Really good. If you never cast Icy Manipulator in Limited before, it's completely broken. Uh, it's like our move spell. You can just use whatever you want, wherever you want, and you can double up on one turn like they're, like they're about to do right now and kill us. So, they have exactly six, obviously. Yeah. Definitely a bit of a, a rocky, rocky road here in our first draft, you know. Um... This game we just lost, you know. We didn't, you know, we have, obviously had a, had a master game or two, but yeah, just block. I think exactly six. Yeah. All right, they got us. Um, definitely a stumbly, clunky game, but like our deck's a little stum stumbly and clunk clunky for sure. So all in all, not ideal. Uh, obviously, we had the one game we just drew were literally all islands, which like sucks, you know, whatever. Uh, and then uh, we had like one other kind of tough draw game. Uh, we just like, missed a lot of land drops, or whatever. That game was five. We just lost, whatever. But so five and three, not ideal. But uh, I'll top on over to untap.gg, which I believe will work, even though the new cards aren't totally out just yet. And then we'll see. Uh, we'll see what the the stats say about our draft. Definitely, it's funny. Yeah, like if you look at all the first episodes, uh, you you can tell it's our first draft. Very very uneven deck. Not really a clear theme. Let's top on over to untap. Here we go. So I went five and three. Um, there were good things happening here. You know, the thing is that, like, you don't really want to have four Wicked Visitors in your Force Fruition Control deck. You know, a lot of, a lot of like, non-synergy, which is very, very common for your first draft. You're just, like, kind of reading cards, and you're not really, like, putting together Legos in the right way. You know, so, uh, you know, some of the cards make sense here. We have, we have like, a lot of kill spells. The counter spells are pretty good. Quick Study. Uh, we wanted good defensive cards. Like, Tone Speaker is kind of cool. The, witch, the Visitors weren't bad. But they weren't really in line with what the deck's trying to do. The plans were good. Uh, the three drop bargain cards were pretty cool. Um, Spellcaster was very good. But yeah, definitely, you know, a first draft for sure. But all in all, some cool games. Pretty exciting also. A good way to start the series. We hatching plans. We had a good time. Hope you all enjoyed it. Episode one of Bronze Mythic is in the books. And we're going to go real hard, all right, over the next uh, next week. I leave for Worlds in about a week. Um, it's actually less than a week now. Uh, which is very, very exciting, obviously, but that's the pre release. Wrong button. Wrong button. Sorry. My bad. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. There's schedule. So we got streams all week. Bronze Mythic tomorrow will be on in the afternoon. We're going to have our, my, my fantasy football draft also uh, in the evening. We got Big Stream Thursday, Big Stream Friday. Saturday, Paladar pre release, Paladar Commander Night. If you are a PAL driver, join. It's free to play. With prizes. Free to play with prizes. Free to play with prizes. It's free money, folks. All right? 
check that out. Check out the streams. And I, yeah, I leave for Worlds. Um, uh, sorry, not in a week. I leave in Worlds in 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 two weeks. I apologize, two weeks. I start testing next week. So that's what's going on. So that's the schedule. And uh, I appreciate everyone tuning in for uh, a lot of hype. This episode it was super super cool seeing everyone turn out. I'm still kind of getting a feel for the schedule as far as like how schedule content works because I've usually been not a schedule kind of guy. But y'all turned up. You were here at 9 a.m. yelling for not being on, on on. I got out of 901. I appreciate that a lot. The hype, the hype is really cool. I like it a lot. So I love y'all. See y'all on episode two. Like, comment, subscribe, follow, hit buttons. Go follow me on TikTok. Follow me on Instagram. Follow me on everything. I love y'all. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for more Bronze Mythic. All right, YouTube folks, let's go.